Clubhouse. And the first stop in his island hop is Sark. In this series, I'll be taking to the skies, to the water, and getting on my bike to explore some of the most incredible islands of Britain. We'll be delving deep down to discover what makes local taste buds tick, and I'll be cooking up something special for the locals. And to think these were still on the seabed this time yesterday is, is incredible. My first destination is the island of Sark, which is in the Channel Islands, just 10 miles off the coast of Guernsey. Sark has no airports or roads, and this is the only way in by ferry from Guernsey. And it takes about an hour. What a way to travel. There can't be many more places left in the world as peaceful as this. It really is the land that time forgot. This is the main street, or they call it the Avenue. And this, believe it or not, is rush hour. You see, I wasn't joking about the lack of cars. Apart from the horse and carts and tractors for moving goods, there's only one way around this island, and that's to get on your bike. Not just me, but this lot too. They're all smiles now, but they won't be when it starts raining. Come on. Come on. With my camera crew having to pedal their equipment around the island, this could be a slow job. <coughs> See what I mean? We're going to be here for hours. <laughs> <coughs> At least we've got the hang of the downhill bits. Sark is an island steeped in history and tradition. The islanders are very self-sufficient, really utilising local produce. And it turns out they're just in time to see that in action. Can I have one, please? And can I get one of these? Thank you. Well? Yeah, sure. And this is the giant squash. And oh, look at that. This is the first prize, and this weighed 22 kilos. Isn't that a beautiful colour? But I've only got the consolation prize. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. The Challenge Cup for Best Arrangement of Flowers, aged five to nine years, is won by Joyce Adams. And while this all may look very friendly, they take the competition seriously, even bringing judges from the other islands. It means there's no favouritism and the judges cannot be accused of, uh, you know, choosing... Any favouritism whatsoever? Yeah, no nepotism. I, I, so. I, do, I do like it. This is the males only. <laughs> and it's actually quite nice because um, the gorgeous flavour, even the texture, a little more attention than fish would have been uh, to your advantage. I presume this is a woman judging this. It was. How did you so, guess? Well, somewhat <laughs> slightly, slightly patronising. <laughs> but a wonderful light texture. Maybe a little butter in the mixture would have improved the flavour. But well done. Yes. Yeah. So we've got to give them a pat on the bike, especially <laughs> the men. <laughs> I think they're all fantastic, that section. Because they're men? No. <laughs> they're they fantastic. <laughs> Great fun. I'm feeling a bit of pressure now because I can obviously all cook, even the men. But before that, I need to work off some of that cake. As I'm going to be cooking for the locals, I'd better get myself some tips from those who know how to cook Sark style best. Elsie was born and raised on Sark and is an expert in all things sweet. Now tell me, tell me all about this dish. Okay. How, do I, how do I pronounce it to start with? Gosh, Malay. Gosh, Malay. Basically, this was food to keep the workmen going. Mm -hmm. When it's cold, you can cut it into chunks, and that used to go into their packs, and they'd take it. Um, so there was the sugar for the energy. Mm -hmm. Apples, because apples are good for you. And it was basically stodge, you know? It's food that filled your belly. Mm -hmm. 
And these are your apples, aren't they? And these are mine, yes. As you can see, all misshapen, but I like it's a that. good apple. I like that. It's a good apple. Is that a Bramley? It's a Bramley. Do you know, well, my mum used to peel apples with a knife, and she can still do it better than I can do it with a peeler. <laughs> Elsie's Gash Malay is my kind of recipe. Very simple. You put all the dry ingredients together and mix them. Then add some eggs, milk, and continue to stir. Then line a tray with some greaseproof paper and pop it all in. So how long do you cook this for? An uh, hour and a half, mm -hmm. uh, gas three and a half, four. Well, I know that you've got them ready for us. Yes. So let's look at that. OK. Good? With that cream. Oh. You, are, for. you are very good. To die for, that is. That is fantastic. What with all the food at the fair and the food I just had now, I'm really feeling the pressure. Not just down here, but up here, because there's some very good cooks here. So I'm really going to have to get my skates on. Sark has a 45-mile coastline, and it's famous for its shellfish. And I'm going to use a key ingredient in my dish, hand-dived scallops. John Shuka has been fishing these waters for 22 years. Today he's 30 foot beneath the surface to find my scallops. How many is in here? Huh? How many is in here? It's a full bag. How many is that, you reckon? About 250. Wow. That. And what better host can you get than this? John shows me his way to eat seafood. Bass in there. Yeah, thin scallops. Sauce. Yep. Ginger. Yeah. Soy sauce. Nothing it has else. to be a light soy sauce. Light, why is that? Because the dark one's just too strong, you know, if you're having it with fish. Oh, I forgot you had a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I mean, it doesn't get simpler than that, does it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. just look at that. It's only because we tried it, you know, and, and experimented and, like, well, I can't thank you enough, Sean. I just can't wait now to get those scallops in the kitchen and to cook later on. Scallops sorted, I just need a few more ingredients and I think I need to rest my sea legs while I pop to the island's only shop. Thank you very much. <laughs> Time to trot back to the kitchen and get my feast underway. Hi. I think they call that a sharp traffic jam. As the locals I've met along the way begin to arrive, I need to start cooking. It takes just a few minutes to cook these over a fairly high heat, with a little touch of butter at the end. I'm serving them with black pudding on a creamy mash topped off with a tart apple sauce. I hope they like it. Yummy. Mm. Love scallops. Absolutely delicious. Thank you very much. Lovely. We've got some more for you, folks. <laughs> the Scots have been a great success. While I could stay here all day, sadly, I've got a ferry to catch. I've met some great people, eaten some great food, and it is a wonderful place, and I'm really sad to be going home. Ah. I'm going to love that series. I'm going to love that. 